So how many of you are, are in town for the Thanksgiving holiday right now? How many of you are visiting? No one is here in town? Okay. Did you know, and, and I just found this out, that you can bring a turkey on the plane? <laughs> According to the TSA, it's okay to pack a cooked turkey in your carry-on bag. For real. <laughs> Turkey's allowed, mashed potatoes are allowed, stuffing is allowed, and as much gravy as you can fit in a three-ounce bottle of shampoo is allowed. <laughs> This is a big deal because previously the only way to travel with a turkey was to get a note from your doctor saying it was a comfort animal, but... <laughs> the TSA, why is this an announcement, by the way? Who carries a turkey on the plane? Call me crazy, but if you have to fly with your own turkey, maybe you should rethink where you're going. Be <laughs> if your mother's cooking is that bad, order Chinese food. <laughs> Thanksgiving is the day we drink all day and then blame the turkey for making us sleepy. And one of the many things we give thanks for every year at this time is our nation's local newscasters who really know how to get us in the holiday spirit. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do this time of year. I love the turkey noise. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. gobble, gobble. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, well, thank you. More than 20 million Americans are facing winter weather warnings right now, which will likely lead to flight cancellations and delays. But don't let the bad weather ruin the holiday for you. That's what your family is for. Here, <laughs> here in Southern California, this is true, there's a flash flood warning in effect right now, and we're on fire again. We've got... <laughs> it could get bad in New York, too. With all the wind they're expecting, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade could wind up in New Jersey this year. They actually <laughs> might have to ground the floats at the parade. This is the forecast for Thanksgiving Day across the country. It is not good. Can't President Trump use his magic weather sharpie <laughs> to scribble out the storms and draw some sun in there? You know, if Donald Trump wants to get his poll numbers up, I was thinking about it today. He should institute a travel ban for Thanksgiving week. No one's allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, I was really looking forward to my connecting flight into Akron to sleep in a child-sized bed. <laughs> but it's illegal now. You want me to go to jail? Our, um, our yam-headed president is headed to Mar-a-Lago for the holiday. Today, he was busy pardoning turkeys at the White House today. The president pardoned two turkeys and I think a Kentucky Fried Chicken while he was at it. <laughs> Trump was in an especially magnanimous mood today, and it seemed to really relish this very silly annual tradition. Today, we also come together to honor the beautiful feathered friend, the noble turkey. And that's a beauty. Wow. Butter, I wish you a lot of luck. But I, I hereby grant you a full and complete pardon. For what? Those turkeys should be pardoning him, by the way. <laughs> Not the other way around. He's, um... Yesterday, the president signed the Women's Suffrage Centennial Commemorative Coin Act to establish a coin honoring the 100th anniversary of woman's right to vote. And you're not gonna believe this, but somehow he found a way to make that event about him. So, and they have, they've been working on this for years and years, and I'm curious why wasn't it done a long time ago? And also, well, I guess the answer to that is because now I'm president, we get things done. <laughs> we get a lot of things done that nobody else got done. Yeah, yeah, well... By the way, nothing screams equal rights like a woman in a beauty pageant sash. Put that back up for a second. There you go. That's... I love that he asked why this wasn't done a long time ago. Why did they wait 100 years to celebrate the centennial? Uh, Mr. President, the word centennial means 100... Quiet, I'm sweating. <laughs> He's the best. In other landmark news... You know how Trump said he was going to build a wall and Mexico was going to pay for it? Well, he hasn't, and, and they won't. So with the election coming up, he really wants to get this going. And when you want something done, who do you turn to? That's right, none other than Jared Kushner, the haunted doll who <laughs> dreamed of one day becoming a real boy. Jared is now in charge of the wall. And what he lacks in wall-building experience, he also lacks in everything else. But was it... <laughs> 
Wasn't he supposed to be bringing peace to the Middle East? Did we give up on that? This is good, too. Do you remember Jim Baker? Jim Baker is uh, the disgraced televangelist. He was married to Tammy Faye Baker. He had an affair with Jessica Hahn. He went to prison for fraud. It was a huge story in the 80s. Well, good news, he's back, and he has some earth-shattering information to share. Do you want to see a chart that you blow your mind? Uh, I just got this from one of my newsmen here in, in the staff. You see that? You see what this is? This is the lowest earthquake. Look. We're going along with earthquakes. This is earthquakes. And then look at, look at down here. Amazing. Well, you want to know what that is? That's the election of Donald Trump. <laughs> Why would there be a dip in the earthquakes at the time of the election? Why would there be less earthquakes there? Why, would it, why did it go all the way up at the end? <laughs> that, that's the question I want answered. And by the way, the chart, it's one of those, it isn't even slightly accurate. Uh, this is an accurate chart of earthquakes during the time period. <laughs> Someone made the other one up to prove once and for all that people, I guess, who watch Jim Baker aren't very smart. Meanwhile, there's some <laughs> big impeachment news today. We learned that the Trump administration officially put aid to Ukraine on hold the same day as his infamous call with the Ukrainian president. And he didn't release that aid until after he found out about the whistleblower complaint. And yet, 50% of Americans are still on the fence on this. How is that possible? Everyone knows what happened. There's not a single person involved in this, not in Congress, the White House, the media, who doesn't know Trump shook down Ukraine for political dirt. His chief of staff admitted it and said we should get over it. And yet the Democrats are still building a case like this is an episode of The Good Wife or something. We, <laughs> we know who done it. It's the large orange man screaming at reporters on the White House lawn. If the police need a sketch, I'll draw it. I mean, but a new poll from CNN found that only half of Americans think Trump should be impeached and removed from office. And what's especially mind-boggling is, while Trump is claiming Hunter Biden improperly profit profited from his father's position, this is what Trump's son Eric tweeted during the impeachment hearing. It is a perfect day for a nice bottle of this. These people are insane. At Trump Winery. <laughs> Well, we must be insane. How do we allow this to go on? These Trump, one thing you really have to hand it to them, they have no shame at all. What most families might see as humiliation, they see as marketing opportunity. <laughs> Extorting our allies, denying climate change, separating families, telling more than 13,000 lies in office, sucking up to dictators, validating Nazis, employing white supremacists, and tearing the fabric of our democracy apart. This Thanksgiving, make time for Trump wine. Because our vodka went bankrupt. Well, that's a, it's the wine that leaves a stain on everything. Hey, we have a good show for you tonight. So we have music tonight from Bishop Briggs, um, and Laura Dern and Andrew Yang are here with us tonight. Laura Dern and Andrew Yang, between Jurassic Park and the Democratic race for president, both of them are working hard to defeat dinosaurs. And oh, speaking of working, you know, Thanksgiving over the years has, has given rise to spin-off holidays. Some people have Friendsgiving, which is like Thanksgiving, except with people you choose to eat with. But this year, <laughs> I've been alerted to what might be the worst giving holiday of all, Worksgiving. This is a Thanksgiving meal at work. It's like regular Thanksgiving, but you're in a, a conference room eating giblets next to someone from HR. People have been posting photos of their works givings online, and these are real photos. This looks festive. Make sure to review the Heimlich poster before you dig in here. <laughs> here you can see the office is buzzing with excitement. You got the folding tables and cubicles. <laughs> that guy. It's like the Norman Rockwell painting, but sad. Hey, everybody, we have burgers and soup. <laughs> um, oh, that looks fun. Great bean casserole, Mary. Can I be finished yet? And the chairs say success, but the mood says otherwise. <laughs> this is a very sad new tradition. This is not, this has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. Please stop doing this at work. This, to me, this video captures the spirit of Thanksgiving, maybe more than any video I've ever seen. 
All right. First time frying a turkey. Stay inside, please. Stay, stay inside, inside. Stay inside. Right. Get inside right now. Oh my God. <laughs> That's every Thanksgiving emotion rolled up into one. <laughs> You know, I have a trick at Thanksgiving. I, this is what I do to keep the dinner short. Works every time. As I'm carving the turkey, I say, so, who's everybody voting for? <laughs> you know, all the nonsense going on in Washington, Thanksgiving with your family might be difficult this year. So to help avoid any unwanted drama, uh, to get you ready for anything, we've invited a special guest to the show tonight. Please welcome your uncle. Hello, uncle. <laughs> Hey there, sport. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. Can I still say that, or is it Happy Indigenous Foods Day? No, I think you can still say that. Thank you for doing this, Uncle. You know, we're trying to get ahead of some of the hot-button issues that might come up at Thanksgiving dinner this year, and I was wondering if you could help us out. Oh, more liberals looking for handouts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> sure, we uncles have some real doozies planned this year. You do? Okay. Oh, heck yeah, we do. Like what kind of things? Well, we'll talk about some things you'd expect. This impeachment circus, mm -hmm. the climate change hoax, mm -hmm. AOC biscuit. Okay. <laughs> all the greatest hits. But this year, we're also planning to dip back into some topics you thought were dead, like Benghazi. Uh huh. And the fact that most lesbians are witches. What? Witch uh, w witches? Ever seen a lesbian float? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, it's not even Christmas yet, and we already have a snowflake. Oh, okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Look, it's called free speech. I thought you lefty oat milk lovers were all about the Constitution. Oh, uh, well, it's... Oh, hey, and speaking of the Constitution, uh -huh. did you know there's nothing in there that's saying I have to pay taxes? Well, I'm pretty sure there's something that says you have to pay taxes, uncle. Don't condescend me, you tofurky eating nipple sucker. <laughs> I fought in Korea. You did? No, but I'll, almost. Okay, well, listen, I think we're getting sidetracked. Let's just stick to what you have in store for Thanksgiving dinner, okay? Well, I want to, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say I have it on good authority that the Mexicans helped Hillary win in 2016. But, but Hillary didn't win in 2016. Read the transcript, Liberace. OK. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. And this is why, by the way, did you know we almost didn't invite you over for dinner this year? What? I'm yeah. your uncle. Well? You should cherish the time we have left. Well, it's the things that you I, say. I, I have a heart condition. You have a heart condition? You're damn right I do. And you probably do, too. It's hereditary. <laughs> It was spread through Grandpa Jerry's sperm sack after he got vaccinated. Okay, all right. I, you know what? I think we're ready for Thanksgiving now. Thanks, Uncle. I'll see you at Mom's. Love okay. you, buddy. Yeah. Maybe causes autism. Bisexuals are indecisive. OJ killed Jeffrey Epstein and vice versa. Okay, and thank you very much. Day. That's it. That's your uncle. I bet you didn't expect to see him. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>